Hello everyone, I'm meteorologist Charlie Nice. It is the 30th of March this Sunday, and we're talking about a chance of severe weather on hot spot weather today. But another round will be possible as we head into later in the week. Two significant rounds will be possible. Now, I know there are a lot of weather channels here on YouTube where you could be spending your time. I appreciate you taking some time out and spending it right here on Hot Spot Weather, where we evaluate and take a look at the hot spots for weather across the U.S. And the main hot spot as we go through the rest of this weekend is right here in the nation's midsection with potential for severe thunderstorms and tornadoes. But this same area will see another risk as we head into Wednesday of this week. And that will be accompanied by not only a chance for severe weather, including tornadoes, but also a significant flood threat looks to be developing as well. And I'll highlight that here in just a moment. Let's start with the Storm Prediction Center's forecast for severe weather for this Sunday. And it's highlighting this large area, basically from the Great Lakes all the way to the Gulf of Mexico. There's a level three out of five in the orange. That's an enhanced risk that runs from Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, through Kentucky, Tennessee, Southeast Missouri, Arkansas, Northern Louisiana, Northeast Texas, back into parts of Mississippi and Alabama. That will be for severe thunderstorms with the threat, including tornadoes. As we head into Monday, that area shifts to the east, the highest risk running from Virginia down into Northern Florida, level three out of five in that orange area for severe weather. Again, cannot rule out a few isolated tornadoes. And as we head into Wednesday, so it's focus on the middle of the week, the second big system, this system looks to have even more energy. And that system also looks to be the one where we could be seeing a better threat for flooding, especially across the Ohio River Valley. But that threat, an enhanced threat, runs basically from Michigan all the way down into northern Louisiana, back into Texas. So two main rounds of severe weather for the upcoming week. We are going into the heart of severe weather season. This is not to be unexpected, but certainly you want to make sure that you are prepared as we go through the next few days. Make sure you have a way to hear warnings, whether it's on your phone or whether it's an app on your phone, in even better ways with the weather radio. Just make sure that you can hear these warnings and stay weather aware over the next few days. All right, so the specific threats from the Storm Prediction Center, this is for tornadoes today, refocusing on the 30th. The greatest threat for tornadoes will be across parts of Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, Tennessee, Arkansas, Southeast Missouri, also into Mississippi and Alabama. That hatched area, that black hatching, indicates at least a 10% chance of a strong tornado, EF2 or stronger, in that area. So we will have the potential for at least a few strong tornadoes as we go through Sunday, Sunday night, and on into Monday. This is the risk for severe winds, 58 miles an hour or higher, a large area of at least 45%. This means a 45% chance in that purple area of seeing severe winds within 25 miles of any one point. And on top of that, we have the risk for large hail of at least one inch in diameter in these areas. But in the hatched area, the black hatching, that is a 10% risk of at least two inch diameter hail within 25 miles of any one point. So all modes of severe weather will be possible in these areas. And you must take this severe weather risk for not only Sunday, Monday, but again on Wednesday very seriously. So let's take a look at the computer models and what they're forecasting with this. And we'll start with taking a look at the upper level winds on the computer models. And for these severe weather events to happen, one of the ingredients has to be a strong jet stream that's impinging over those areas. And that's what we've got going on for this Sunday. As you'll see, this is the area right in here, that strong jet stream energy is gonna be pushing across that region that I just went over that's highlighted by the Storm Prediction Center. Now that's a strong jet stream with winds over 80 miles an hour in places, 80 to 90 miles an hour. But let me show you Wednesday. Let's forecast into the future with Wednesday's jet stream and the computer models have an even more energetic jet stream with that. So again, we're gonna be watching not only what's happening this weekend, the end of this weekend, Sunday into Monday, the 30th and the 31st, but also as we head into Wednesday. And this is setting us up for not only that severe weather event beginning on Wednesday, 
but also for the potential for significant flooding. And we'll take a look at a few more details here in just a moment. All right. How is this system going to be developing on Sunday into Monday? This is the high resolution rapid refresh model, the HRRR. And this computer model is forecasting the main energy, the main area over Missouri in the morning. Nothing particularly severe, but as we go through the day, there's a refocusing of that energy back across this area. So the most intense cells will be developing during the afternoon across parts of Illinois, Indiana, back into Missouri. Any of these storms could be severe along with the threat for tornadoes. There's some cells ahead of that area too, across Kentucky and Tennessee, back into Northern Alabama. Any of these cells could be severe, but it looks like right now, the greatest potential for tornadoes would be back to the north and the west. And as we head into the evening hours, this is 7 p.m. on Sunday evening, everything starts to focus now on the Ohio River near the confluence of the Mississippi and Ohio rivers here around Carroll, Illinois, back into parts of Arkansas. These storms, any of them could be severe, and again, any of those could contain tornadoes as well. And then any thunderstorms ahead of that line also, you'll have to watch carefully, they could be severe with the potential for tornadoes. A little deeper into time we go, and as we head into the overnight hours, this is where we see it pushing across Kentucky, pushing across Tennessee, back into parts of Arkansas and Mississippi. Still heavy rains, a lot of lightning, and this is during the overnight hours here. This is right around midnight. A lot of lightning with these storms, keeping folks up, and any of these cells still could be severe. We go deeper into time during the overnight hours, and by the time we get into 7 a.m., we've got the worst of the weather pushing off toward the east into East Tennessee, storms across Alabama, back into parts of Mississippi. Could be a loud morning thunder waking you up across, across parts of Alabama here. And then the, gradually the main area of energy focuses and shifts to the east, and that's where we see the best chance of severe weather along the east coast as we head into your Monday. Now, this is the significant tornado parameter. You take a look at the shear, the wind shear, the spin in the atmosphere combined with instability. It's a composite index that highlights where the highest risk for tornadoes might be and where the brighter colors are, that's where we stand the best chance of seeing the severe weather with tornadoes. And this is at 7 p.m. Sunday evening. It has the highest risk with the best conditions for tornadoes focused on Western Kentucky down into West Tennessee. And as we go through the overnight hours, it gradually begins to weaken as we lose some of the instability. But even into the overnight hours, one o'clock in the morning here, we still have that risk across Tennessee, Mississippi, and Northern Alabama. And then during the overnight hours, that continues to shrink. But again, don't let your guard down during the overnight hours in this area because the storms will still have the potential to be severe. We just may see the risk of a strong tornado begin to go down a little bit. All right, so that's the first system Sunday into Monday. Let's take a look at what's gonna be happening with the second system on Wednesday. And as we head into Wednesday, thunderstorms develop across Iowa, Illinois, Missouri, back into parts of Kansas. And it refocuses during the afternoon on Wednesday from Indiana back into Missouri and Arkansas. And any of these thunderstorms could be severe with the potential for tornadoes. But watch what happens to the line. It starts to stall out as we go through Wednesday night into early Thursday and basically doesn't move. And we get these heavy bands of rain and thunderstorms training over the same areas over and over and over. This is even into Thursday evening, 24 hours later, it's still storming in basically the same areas. And that's what's gonna lead to this threat for flash flooding and eventually river flooding. This is the computer forecast model by the European model. How much rain will have fallen from this weekend and next weekend. And look how it focuses an area of anywhere from four to seven inches of rain across the Ohio River Valley by next weekend. And again, this is an area, any of these streams and tributaries leading into the Ohio River could be flooding. And that's gonna be leading to potentially significant rises on the Ohio River itself. That's the European model. The American model is calling for even more rain, upwards of a foot of rain in the Ohio River Valley 
between this weekend and next weekend. So make sure that if you live in low-lying areas in the Ohio River Valley or even in the Mississippi River Valley near the confluence of the Ohio and Mississippi, again, near Cairo, Illinois, and to the south, just make sure that you are aware that we will be having the potential for flash flooding and also later river flooding through this entire area here, Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, Tennessee, back into parts of Arkansas. It's going to be a very busy week. Again, we are going into the heart of severe weather season and we expect active weather, but just make sure that you are weather aware through the week. All right, taking a look at other areas as we head through Monday into Tuesday, things get pretty calm. The most active weather really outside of this main energy that's coming through this weekend into Monday along and pushing out of the nation's midsection to the east coast is a new storm system moving into the west into California with a lot of rain for the coast and also mountain snows from California and eventually into Washington and Oregon. Snows will be breaking out again across the northern plains, North Dakota into parts of Michigan and Wisconsin and Minnesota as the week wears on with that second system that's going to be coming in on Wednesday. This is Wednesday morning. There's the low. Anytime you get a sub 1000 millibar low like we have here, the core of the storm system at 987, that is a strong storm system. And look at the snows through parts of the Great Lakes, again, northern Michigan, the Upper Peninsula, back into Wisconsin and Minnesota and the Northern Plains. And then we're gonna see severe weather on the warm side of it with the threat for that flooding developing by the middle and end of the week. So very active weather will continue. I'll have another update for you later in the week. If you are formulating your severe weather safety plan for your family, check out this video also on my YouTube shorts. I have lots of tips and fascinating facts about tornadoes and tips on how to stay safe. But please do stay safe, stay weather aware, and I'll see you soon.